Hi, I'm Adepoju Adeshino, a graduate research assistant at the University of Minnesota School of Public Health. This is an hands-on activity demonstrating phagocytosis. I developed this activity along with Dr. Pitreino from the University of Minnesota. The objective of this activity is to demonstrate the effects of particle size and shape on the uptake of nano objects by a microphage. To carry out this activity, you will need play dough a bag of 10-inch bamboo scales, M&Ms, and a quarter to measure the diameter of the Play-Doh. First, to demonstrate phagocytosis of round nano objects, form or cut out a ball, roughly the same diameter as that of a quarter from the Play-Doh. Try to engulf a single M&M with the Play-Doh, similar to how a microphage will engulf a spherical nano object deposited in the lungs. Here, the Play-Doh easily engulfed the M&M. &M. To demonstrate phagocytosis of long straight nanotube, form a Play-Doh ball, roughly the diameter of a quarter. Try to engulf a single bamboo scale with a Play-Doh ball, similar to how a microphage would try to engulf a straight nanotube in the lungs. It may be possible to engulf the scale, but it was not easy. You will have to manipulate the Play-Doh into a shape that is difficult or impossible for the microphage, which may result in frustrated phagocytosis. Demonstrate phagocytosis of tangled nanotube by forming a Play-Doh ball, roughly the diameter of a color. Partially bend and break a scale without separating the fibers. Compact the bent scale into a compact bundle as much as possible. Try to engulf the bundle using the Play-Doh ball, similar to how a microphage will engulf a tangled nanotube in the lungs. It was possible to engulf the scalar bundle, although some points of the scalar may stick out of the Play-Doh. A microphage will be more successful in engulfing a deposited tangled nanotube compared to a long straight nanotube. This concludes the activity on phagocytosis. Thank you for watching. This lesson has been created by the Midwest Emerging Technologies Public Health and Safety Training Program, METFAS, which is a collaboration between the University of Minnesota School of Public Health, the University of Iowa College of Public Health, and Dakota County Technical College. The content of this lesson is solely the responsibility of the developers and does not necessarily represent the official views of the National Institute of Health.